Hi guys! Welcome back Alley Cats! And if you're not an Alley Cat, subscribe! Become one! Join the kitty litter! It's not as gross as it sounds! <laughs> to start off, we're using an e.l.f. lip balm. This is in the shade Tough Cookie. I actually freaking love this lip balm. It's so smooth, hydrating, it's vegan and cruelty free. Now we're using the ordinary 100% plant derived squalene oil. I like to use this to prep the drier areas of my face. And then for the oilier areas of my face, I use the YSL instant matte pore refiner. And I'm mostly doing that around my T-zone. These are the products I'm using for my complexion. You guys pretty much know that routine, so Ooh, I'm spooky. <laughs> and then this is what I use to contour. Going into the Ciate blush. I love this blush. I use it a lot. I know you guys have seen it. It's in the shade Dusk. And using my new Shop Miss A blush brush. It's super soft. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm using a smaller brush to blush up my nose, go across my nose. This is a very blushy look, so go heavy on it. To prime my eyes, I'm using the AOA Studio Eyeshadow Primer. This is also from the Shop Miss A haul. Check that haul out if you haven't seen it. I'm going to be doing soap brows to get my brows in better shape than my quarantine body is. Now using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and an eyeshadow brush. This is from Luxie. I'm going to be shaping out my eyebrows. I was trying to keep them extremely light for this look, so I was hoping to just shape out my brow and not really have to fill them in too much. I don't have tails, so I will have to fill those in. And to do that, I'll be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and it's in the shade Taupe. Going back in with that Ciate blush and a crease brush. I'm actually going to be using this all up in my crease. Again, this is a very blushy look. And I'm bringing that very high over top of my eyebrow tails, actually. Pretty much blending that out. I didn't really need a tail. <laughs> oh well. Really layering this blush, I want it to be very vibrant. Going in with a more of a bullet brush, I'm going very close to my lash line and just building up that outer corner. Now I'm actually going to create a sharp angle towards the bridge of my nose. Almost a very 80s look. Think of David Bowie. <laughs> also creating a sharp edge at the outer corner of my eye. Going in with another Shop Miss A brush. Check out my Shop Miss A brush haul coming soon. This is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Actually a very beautiful palette. I've really been loving all of the shades, especially for summer. Building up that outer corner with a more vibrant pink. <laughs> Creating an angle, almost a wing, at the outer corner. And really building up that crease. Also building up the lower lash line and the angles. Going back in with shape tape and I'm going to be cutting my crease here. I actually do have a video on how to do cut creases, and it's a part of my basic series, so please check that out. Mm -hmm. 
I'm setting that with a white shadow and yet another Shot Miss A brush. You can tell I actually really like these brushes. <laughs> also, I haven't done a voiceover in forever, so if I'm really weird or awkward, well, I'm always that way, so. Um, going in with a beautiful yellow shade, and I'm using that in my inner corner. My inspiration for this look was actually a pink flower, and I saw that it had like a yellow center to it, and it just, yeah, it, it did inspired me, it did something to me. Bringing that yellow up at an angle inside of that cut crease, but staying away from the line itself. I want to create some cool angles here. Using these chroma flakes from MBA Cosmetics, they are multi-chrome and gorgeous. This is the shade Sublime. And I'm going over top of all of that, all of the yellow. Going across my nose and connecting the two yellow inner corners as well. Going in with the NYX Epic Wear liquid liners, and this is in the shade yellow. And I'm creating some graphic lines. extending that inner corner with this too. Now I'm going from the top of my crease and angling it down through that pink wing that we created. I just wanted to do something weird and different. I don't really know what I was going for here, but yeah. So I decided to create a line at my lower lash line as well. This is actually a bag that lemons came in. <laughs> So use these weird materials that you end up finding. I just thought this yellow was so pretty, so I kept it like a weirdo, and I kept it in my makeup room because I figured I was going to be able to use it for something, and uh, well, I decided to cut out triangular pieces of this yellow and use lash glue to adhere it to my face, right above my eyebrow. I'm using the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. And a fluffy highlighter brush, I'm going into the shade Sunshine, and I'm going to start highlighting. I'm going over everything, including that yellow mesh stuff that I just laid down. I don't know what this is called. Netting? I don't know. I'm putting some lash glue down over my cheekbone, because that's where I'm about to place another one of those little triangles. And just adhere that to the face. I decided to cut out a little strip to cover my eyebrow completely because my brows are so light, I figured it would just look better if I covered them completely. Going in with another Shop Miss A product, this is their lip liner, and filling in my lips completely with this and doing my overlining technique, which is another one of my basic series, if you wanna check that out. Just, you know, promoting myself, <laughs> sorry. And then going again in with that yellow Epic Wear liner, and I'm creating a line down my lip and down my chin. I decided I, just my forehead, there's a lot of forehead there. I wanted to fill that in, so... I'm creating some graphic lines all across my forehead. I had no idea, honestly, what I wanted to do with this. I just went with it, really. I created some lines, triangles, dots. If you do this, have fun with it. Honestly, I kind of wish I had gone further adding some pink in too. But hey, it still looks cool. I 
decided it just wasn't quite enough. I can't stop myself. So I added some little yellow lines up underneath my lash line. Using the chroma flakes and I highlighted all over again. I needed a little boost there. Now using the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Drug Lord, I believe it's called. <laughs> I'm using this to go right into my waterline and that's it. This is my flower fairy dreams come true. Honestly, don't know what I'm even calling this. I don't know what it is, it, it, but yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and become an alley cat. Alley cat. Like this video, share it with your friends and family so that they can become alley cats too. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I post. I post every Friday. And thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.